Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to another broadcast of Investor's Guide. And Investor's Guide is designed to bring to you a high level of information that really helps you to understand the financial market. For example, on this platform, we interview uh, persons who are versed with debt, equity, credit capital, and smart capital. But we also interview the entrepreneur who are in business, the entrepreneur who has value to add to the business community, business owners who can guide your steps in essential management tools that will quicken your steps to success. So this program comes to you with a kind compliments of Global Capital Inc. and 10X Credit and Marketing LLC out of New York. And today we have no other than Ashley uh, Pokulski, who is a time management specialist all the way out of Canada. I ha we have been interacting for a little bit now and she really has tremendous passion to helping people to understand the importance of time management, understand the importance of mindset and how mindset literally influence the outcome that you're looking for in business and in life. So today I want to welcome um, Ashley as we do a deep dive into what she does and how what she is doing can impact your business and your personal life. Welcome, Ashley. Hi, Gary. Hello. So much for having me here. It's my pleasure. I want to begin by asking you to tell us a little bit about your brand, what you do. So what I do is I help mompreneurs take back their time and 10 times their productivity through my signature focus framework. Mm -hmm. um, to do a little deep dive here, what I do is it's that it's not just about the time management hacks and apps and tools to be using, but we do a little bit of the inner work of like, uncovering what's getting in the way so that they can be in the driver's seat of their life and take back their time. Okay. So I love that you said this is more than just time management hack, but will you do a deep dive to really analyze what are those barriers? What are those blocks? And once you identify those barriers and blocks to a person's managing their time and position them, them, themselves to achieve more, you help them to break through those barriers. Beautiful. Yeah. I really love that. Um, how would you define your profession? I know that it's a, a unique profession. I know for, for, for years now, um, people across the world have been talking about the importance of time management. But tell us how you define your profession. How important would, it is to people in business and people in life? How do you define it? I would say it's very, you know, um, life-saving. <laughs> I agree. Honest, I, I believe it's that because, you know, in this life that we get, you know, a lot of times we're just busy being busy, right? And life passes you by. To me and to everyone, time is your biggest asset. Time you can't get back. So whatever time you're wasting or the days that are slipping by, you can't get that back, right? So when we work together and, you know, work through these barriers, go through those obstacles, you legit transform your life. So to me, it's like transforming. I, I agree. You cannot get back time. And I do believe that, you know, it makes a lot of sense to know all that there is to know about time management. So it has to avoid um, wasting time. Let me put a scenario to you. One of the things that we are seeing is that millions of people across the world, they set their new year resolutions at the beginning or at the end of the year. And uh, they set the goals, me, myself and I, but we are seeing that year after year, they are not attaining the goals that they're, they're achieving. That seems to me like a big time waste. You're seeing this with both some businesses that are setting goals and the private individual who are setting goals. One of the things that we would recommend to them is that they identify a PFA, 
a professional financial advisor or a personal financial advisor and to help them navigate those, those terrain. And I'm seeing now in this particular case, perhaps a time manager uh, working with these other subject matter experts can help them. Do you see this as a big waste of time? And what are some of the, your tips and tricks and hacks recommendation to deal with some of those issues? So I think that, right, I always say like whatever area in your life, there's a struggle that, you know, you work through it, right? Like whether that's through educating yourself more, investing in yourself more, getting someone to help you through that more, right? So I see that a lot too, that I was guilty of this too, writing those new year's resolutions and hoping they're all going to get done. And then, you know, six months goes by, it's like, okay, I still have time. And then after it happens and then it doesn't happen. And a lot of times, you know, uh, from experience and even working with clients is that people do the whole list of what they need to get done. They plan it out and it's there. It's not that it's not there, but it's like, what is it that's actually keeping them stuck that they cannot achieve their results? You know, they're planning out their days. They have what they, their plan, but why aren't they getting it done? And that's usually like your mindset, your habits, you know, that's what it is, the, the productivity for you to attain those results. So with that, I would say like some tips, I would say, start small. You know, sometimes you put too much of that big picture of what you want and you kind of over bombard yourself and subconsciously <laughs> your body starts to freeze. And then you start to realize, I don't have, how did, where did my day go? Like I didn't even do anything that much, right? So it's really identifying and becoming aware with that. So I always say, start small. You know, put in something you want to achieve, but add in like a, a small habit a day. For example, for someone, it could be starting off with drinking a glass of water. But what it does is that you're keeping a promise for yourself and you're building in that habit. And then you're going to go to more, to more and it kind of builds, right? So that way you start to become more disciplined, right? And then it kind of starts working towards the other things too. So breaking down those goals and not over bombarding yourself. And I would say too, um, I'm a big preacher with this, um, is creating morning and nighttime routines. And now some people might be like, okay, how does that help? But when you do those morning and nighttime routines, that is actually time that you're giving to yourself to fuel yourself, to grow. You're working on your mindset. Uh, you're, you know, working through the stressors that come through the day. Like if you're doing breath work or meditation or journaling, you're preparing yourself mentally um, for the day kind of thing, right? So you're kind of empowering yourself. And I think with those little habits, they help you to get that clarity and to take those steps to attain those actions that you want to take. If that made sense. <laughs> I, I really love what you're saying. I do believe that morning and evening habits and can go far away because I think what it, what that does it allows you to build more familiarity with what you're doing and it allows you to get more clarity with what you're doing and there's a saying that you know what you focus on expand you know the dominant thoughts do expand so I do find tremendous logics in what you're saying um what I want to add to the conversation, however, is that one of the programs that we roll out, and we're going to be collaborating on this, we have designed a very unique program titled the, the, the 10x Wealth Leadership Ecosystem. And one of the, the elements there is goal setting, how to set goals. Uh, one of the elements of goal setting is where we help people to understand the WBS, which is the work breakdown structure. And what a work breakdown stru structure does, it tells you a step-by-step -step, uh, action that you need to take to achieve the goal. Um, as I talk to you about time management, we set this up for a person to grow at their own pace. Now that I'm talking to you, I'm seeing that if we are to align time management to the WBS, the work breakdown structure, the possibility exists that we can help people achieve more faster um, in a much shorter period of time. So I'm seeing tremendous relevance to uh, your system of time management to 
goal setting. And when we, I talk about goal setting, I'm talking about it from a corporate standpoint and a personal standpoint. So um, we have um, some discussions uh, to continue doing as time progresses. The big question I want to ask you now is what are two major things that uh, you would have accomplished um, over the last few years? One of them that I've seen is that uh, the global pandemic came and it affected millions of people across the world. While it would have affected you, you use this as a stepping stone to start a new project. And to me, that is a massive and big accomplishment because that project that you have started, um, it is designed to impact hundreds, thousands, and perhaps millions of people uh, across the world. Would you want to tell us a little bit more about that and perhaps one of the major accomplishments that you would have accomplished since you started this project? Yeah, actually, that's so funny because I had that on my list. <laughs> because you know what? It was, I always had this dream and this passion, and I had a lot of obstacles and challenges that I went through in my life, my own personal life. And, you know, being a single mom. So when COVID, uh, this thing happened, <laughs> this whole pandemic thing, um, you know, it's just, I just like a light bulb sparked. And I said, you know what? I'm going to do it. You live life once. This is it. This is what I want to do. This is the impact I want to make around worldwide. I want to help transform entrepreneurs' lives. You know, I have a little human that's depending on me, looking up to me. So I started my business. I launched it. Um, it was, you know, a little roller coaster ride, but that's how it is always, right? You're learning and growing. Um, but yeah, I was very awesome. proud of that. Yeah. And I was very proud of that because I found that even through this time, like you could have taken different ways. Right. And I look at this time as this is the perfect time for people who want to start their business, um, the inner work, working on yourself. This is like, you know, your personal development. And another one I would say is with my clients, you know, to so when I launched my business, it took me a while to get with my clients, but eventually I started getting clients. And with that, like my biggest accomplishment with that was seeing their results. That was my biggest pay. When I see that huge smile on their face and they're like, oh my goodness, I never thought of it this way because they're coming to me thinking there's like a secret gold sauce thing. Like, okay, why am I not managing my time? How come I can't get this done? And then I say, listen, and we dive deep and they're like, wow, I never really thought of that. So that is my biggest pay. And to me, that is like a huge, amazing accomplishment. Definitely. You know, I, I can identify it what you're saying. You know, one of your greatest you know, joy as a consultant is when you hear your client says to you, it's working. Yeah. It's working way beyond I expected. Um, you do have a sense of joy um, when that happens. So I identify with uh, that sense of accomplishment that you, you would have experienced with them. Now we are in 2022 and we still are in the center of the, you know, the global pandemic. But the big question I want to put to you again is, what is your big vision? I know we have talked about this briefly, and you have a global vision with your brand. And I'm happy that we are alongside you to, you know, push you in the right direction and, you know, and make things happen. But tell us about this big vision that you have. I want to hear it from you. I want the public to hear it from you. No. So basically, I want to be worldwide. But then this global pandemic came because my goal was actually to even do uh, live events worldwide. And that's my dream. But uh, now, thank you, social media. <laughs> I want to be yeah. well known on social media, but it's because I want to help transform and help entrepreneurs take back their time. Um, I'm actually working on being a co author. I want to write some books, um, starting the podcast, uh, you know, just pretty much putting myself out there so I could be there globally, just impacting mompreneurs' lives. Okay. I, I'm happy that you said you want to become a co-author. And that's something that we're going to talk about. Um, because only recently I'm telling my son, you know, um, 
I teach a goal setting, but I only teach it. I don't have the book, but I have many books which I've published, but not the book on goal setting. And I do believe that um, in the book itself, in the, the training, uh, time management is an element that is not there. So I'll definitely be talking to you, but perhaps giving us a few chapters in time management and bam, we have that collaboration. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would love that. Good. So tell me a little bit about who is your, who would you say is your ideal um, client? Is this business people? Is it, you know, the average individual? Is it male? Is it female? And um, mm -hmm. who do you see as your ideal client? I would say mompreneurs. Mompreneurs uh, at the beginning stage of their businesses. But again, that it's not a huge matter. Um, yeah. But I would definitely say mompreneurs that are trying to balance it all, feeling overwhelmed, <laughs> need to take back their time. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I love that you say that because, you know, I, I must say, I don't know how women do it. You know, I, I think that God really, you know, made you guys with, you know, more special than men. I have to say that because you guys, you guys go to work, you know, you work, you know, full, you know, eight to four, um, you come back home, you take care, you know, of the house, you take care of the, the little ones, you take care of the husband and you still find time for life. I just don't know how you guys can do it. <laughs> so I want to say big kudos out to you, you know, women across the world. And I really, really want to take the time to, to throw some flowers at your feet um, for what you're doing here in time management, because I do believe that what you're doing is, is vital. I do believe it can have a tremendous impact on women in terms of how they, they, you know, they take back their time and you know, free up perhaps some of that time um, for family, for self, um, you know, so. I do see tremendous relevance um, with what you're doing, but I know that you are not necessarily ex alone. You may, while you're targeting women, I'm also aware that you, this program is, is made for everyone who wants to benefit from your platform. Oh yeah, yes. If someone came to me and said, hey, listen, I really need your help. I'm connecting with you really well. I, I like all your stuff on social media. Like I'm not gonna throw them apart. If we do uh, resonate together and are a good fit, of course. Mm -hmm. All right, I want to ask a more pointed question. Being a woman um, who have developed this unique brand that targets women, what are some of the challenges that women are faced with? Wow, you know, I live by this saying by Marie Forleo, everything is figure outable. And that Bob yeah. Marley song, I don't think it's going to be all right. Yeah. <laughs> Sing the back of my head. So I find it's just like, you know, uh, trying to balance. First of all, I don't think balance exists. It's like this fake thing, whatever life happens to you all the time. You just got to know how to, you know, <laughs> so it's just a lot of like, you have so much pressure, you know, you're trying to, like you were saying, raise the family, go to work, uh, do the house duties. You have your own stuff that you are working through. Sometimes women push aside their, a lot of times their needs, right. And focus on others needs because they're the role and you know they kind of lose themselves right and that's why too with me what taking back their time it's also about finding yourself finding that time for yourself igniting that spark within yourself you know bringing the confidence within yourself so I think that is a huge huge uh, challenge especially with overwhelm financial stress all those things like feeling stuck and lonely at times like mind you they have they're happy they have their families they have their kids but there's just a missing piece. Okay. Um, you've said a, a whole lot there. And, you know, women do have broad shoulders. And um, again, I don't know how most women do it. I know women are some of the greatest economists. You know, um, you know, you sit with the older folks, you would always hear this say, you know, I can put monies in my wife's hands and send her shopping and she's gonna bring back change. But if I go shopping with that same money, I don't bring back change, you know, and they're economists. So you guys have, you know, as I said, God definitely spend more time with women. And um, 
when I when I meet him, I have to ask him why. <laughs> I'm just being kidding, right? I'm just being funny. All right. Um, I love what you said. Um, you know, women has to do so much. They need so much of time. And also you mentioned the issue of finance. On a serious note, um, we know that most challenges in relationship today uh, stems from the lack of finance. And um, I'm happy to, to again be alongside your brand um, to really talk everything finance because you know we have a very unique platform where we are not just talking debt, equity, credit, and smart capital, but we are able to put businesses. So let's take that you, you know, you have women who you're you're mentoring, you're coaching, but they need access to capital. Um, we have partners out of UK, we have partners out of America. And um, that can provide that kind of intervention to your to your clientele base. So um, that's something that I'm happy about because this is not just all talk. You know, we are looking at the practical solutions to provide that holistic, comprehensive intervention to mm -hmm. your target market. Um, how do you value your value proposition in terms of fixing the client's problem? And I know I just gave it away because I just tell you how we're gonna fix the problem. Um, what are some of the challenges that you would have had? You know, you're dealing with a mom, you're dealing with a client, they are unable to manage time effectively. And uh, perhaps sometimes the formula that you're given to them, they are not, you know, receptive to it or they're not applying it. Do you ever have these kind of encounters and how do you manage it? Yeah. Yeah. But I did, I did. And a couple of times at first I was like, oh my gosh, am I doing something wrong? <laughs> I blamed myself. I was like, oh my gosh. But um, you know what? You, I always say it this way. You have to put in the work. You know, the gold platter cannot just be given. You have to put in the work. And it's not easy. It's hard. It's uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Especially when you're dealing with habits, right? Because, you know, we're, we're all not perfect. You know what I mean? I have some days that I have to force myself or like get up and be like, hey, you know what? I need to get this done kind of thing. Um, so, but it's really to understanding like why, where, okay, why is it not working? You know what I mean? Why is it not working? What's getting in the way with that? Maybe there's a, something different we can shift to. So it's not just like leaving them alone kind of thing, but trying to figure it out. And if that doesn't work, I, you know, I'd be honest too. And I say, you know, Sometimes we could be a good fit, sometimes not being a good fit, because a lot of the times I know my services, what I do will work, but you have to put in the work too. Do you get, do you get what I'm saying? Oh, I don't hear you. Oh, yes, I'm you here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm sorry for that. Um, one of the, the my, my encounter is focus. I find some clients can be have split focus. They're focusing on multiple things at the same time, and that can be a distraction. And again, as you said, they are not committing the time to learn the concept, to apply the concept, to master the concept. So mm -hmm. it makes your work um, a little bit more tougher. Mm -hmm. So sometimes what I have to do is to get them past the clutter and just focus. All right, and um, so I understand what you're saying. It's a, it's a critical part of, of, of what you do. Uh, what would you say is unique about your brand? What is different uh, about your brand? Um, I feel your passion. I've looked at you, you know, how you deliver yourself on social media, and I feel that passion. But what in your view is unique and different about what you're doing? I feel, and I could be wrong, but I feel that it's, I really dive into the inner work. You know what I mean? Working through those things that are holding you back that could be affecting your time. So I feel that I do do it differently. Like I know there's some coaches out there that do time management, but dealing with habits and stuff, but um, really diving in and removing those roadblocks. I think that makes it unique for me. You know, I just, I really focus my attention a lot on that, like the time management stuff, I link it into, but I 
really, really focus on that. And I feel that it makes it, you know, you're making that time for yourself, but you're finding that inner spark within you. You're finding yourself again, kind of thing, right? Okay. Um, I must say, this is what I, I really love about what you're doing, because I think traditionally, if someone is rolling out any learning content, they present the learning content. And if you don't get it, you don't get it. That's on you. But what I like about what you're doing, you're going beyond just the content and you're going to mindset mm -hmm. and you're helping the client to develop the right mindset that can eventually pay them the dividends that they want, which is to understand the problem, develop the game plan to address the problem and apply themselves to go beyond the problem. And it all begins with that mindset. So I think that that is definitely uh, something that is unique and different. And again, I just want to throw the flowers at your feet for, you know, using this innovative approach and you're making impact with it. And I'm happy also that you have a global vision behind um, what you're doing. The last question I want to ask you is, having said all that you would have said, how do you want to be remembered? And do you want to be remembered as a person who inspire women to, to go further? And, you know, you want to be remembered as the, you know, the new kid on the block who is, you know, bringing your new innovation to time management. How do you want to be remembered? Honestly, I want to be remembered. The legacy behind, and I do want to be remembered, like inspiring all these women worldwide, transforming their lives, them finding themselves, being happy again. Me is like me being remembered that I help these women like take back their time, take back their life, <laughs> kind of thing. You know, that's the most important thing for me. Okay, I I really love that. You no, know, take back their time, take back their life. And you said something that was very true early on. And I think that this happens on both sides, both male and female. You know, I think that fathers who are committed, mothers who are committed, they tend to put everything above self. And in doing that, they are literally giving up on their dreams and their hopes and their aspirations, their vision, and just to serve, you know, their, their, their young ones. So, you know, and, and I think what you're saying is so important because I think the more you can pour into yourself is the more you can pour out to others. And uh, I think that when you talk about taking back your life and taking back your time, it's not to be selfish, but it's to pour more mm -hmm. into you so you can be more abundant to those around you. Oh yes, 100%. <laughs> I love that. All right, um, is there anything that you want to say um, that I might not have asked um, before we close um, today's program, Ashley? No, you know what? I always go by that saying to people to always remember this, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're absolutely right. But I want to thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity. Thank you. You're so welcome. And you always make so profound statements. Whether you think you can or you think you cannot, you're perfectly correct. It's, exactly. like what the, it's like what the great book says. So as a man think it in his heart, so is he. So if you're free from lack, limitation, doubts, and fear, that's what you are. But if you connect with your abundance, you're going to become the abundant person because you're already abundant. So beautiful statement. So there we had it, uh, viewers. This is Ashley uh, Pakowski and she is a subject matter specialist when it comes to time management. She's all the way in Canada, but don't worry, her brand is gonna be reaching you all across the world very soon. Keep following me and I will continue to bring you updates on the Ashley and the great vision that she has to touch and transform the lives of women and anyone who wants to benefit from this program across the world. So thanks a lot, Ashley. It has been a great pleasure talking with you. And we'll talk soon. Talk soon. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.